Welcome to Wudang Wei. Today is going to be our first introduction video to kind of get into the actual explanation of what this channel is going to do. So in yesterday's video with the first release, just kind of introducing the channel in general, kind of recommending you to some other things that are in the works. But this video is now introducing the actual training, the curriculum that we're going to cover in these videos to follow. So explain a few things to start off with. Uh, all these videos are going to be daily release, so I want to release them Monday through Saturday. You could have Sunday as a rest. And we're going to take this as like a step-by-step -step all through the week of going through different basics, uh, warm-ups, stretches, uh, all your fundamental skills during this first mini-series of like our back-to-basics is what I'm calling it. A lot of that is going to move into Taiji and Qigong and some of these other forms that you're probably more familiar with. But I really want to take the chance to start off in the beginning going through more of our external or hard style movements. So what that means is more stances, more of the kind of kung fu style movements. So we've got like horse stance, bow stance, uh, cross stance, your empty stance, cat stance, these kind of different things that maybe you're familiar with, maybe are new to you. But either way, we're going to explain it in a very basic approach where we start from the very fundamental how to move into some structure, move some drills, some different variations and answer some questions that you might have along the way as far as like problems you might have or ways that you can train it on your own or correct posture imbalances. So all that's really important, uh, especially when we get later into the internal arts. So taking a step back real quick, I want to explain what is Wudang martial arts, what is external, what is internal. If you're completely a beginner to all those terms, and that's kind of a lot of information at once, we can understand it really simply. Firstly, we can say external just means like your hard style, uh, what you see in kung fu forms. So if you see a Chinese martial art that has very big stances, dynamic movements, lots of like Shaolin, Wudang, all these systems use the same fundamental stances. Um, so we're going to break all those down and go through them step by step. That's what we're going to be focusing on. What we'll move into is the internal, which is the soft style. Soft style, what I mean by that is your internal work, you can say like your meditation, your qigong, your taiji, what we would consider like slow movements, uh, more internal work, uh, coordination, and soft movement. Um, the reason behind this is actually really important because for our lineage, we want to start from the outside and work our way in. Because when we work this way, we can kind of stretch the body out, make the body more soft, more flexible, more strong, more stable, more coordinated, get you kind of in touch with listening to your body and the movement where you're going. So that way when we get to the internal work, we have a better posture, we have better coordination, and we can have a little bit more of a better sensitivity to work with some of those styles. So the, the idea with this channel is that we're gonna keep going through all these videos week by week. This week is the start of the videos kind of going through all of our uh, warm-up material, different ways that you can get started training. And then next week we'll work in with stances, starting with horse stance and moving forward week by week. Right now we've got this series is planned at like six weeks of time uh, before we get into some of the actual systems of training like Taiji and things like that. But it's really essential that you tune in and, and follow all these steps because having these basics in your pocket is going to be really, really essential moving forward when you want to learn something else because then we can say oh it's this stance with this handwork and you'll be right there ready to go so i found learning online and teaching online this way a lot of times the fundamental basic skills are the things we have the most questions about so i hope this series can explain all those steps and kind of get you started get you asking questions get you involved in the community and if you have any questions i'll be tuning in all the time when these videos are published to answer questions and include those in later discussions so we can keep moving forward and kind of get you guys really well founded on all these basics so keep tuning into this back to basic series daily release videos you can subscribe and tune in and make sure you follow along and practice as much as you can um, we're going to spend a little bit of time on each one so that way you get a really well-rounded experience but then we can keep moving forward we can keep advancing and adding more steps to it but make sure you go back and spend time reviewing as much as you can um, all throughout the week, Monday through Friday, we'll have tutorials and then on Saturday we'll follow up with a, lar a larger training video that you can follow along on your own and kind of come back to to review. So I hope that's really clear. I hope to see you guys in the classes to come and see your comments. If you do have any questions, just let me know. You're now part of the Wudang community. So until next time, we'll see you. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to hit subscribe, check out all the information underneath. There you can navigate to the Ways of Wudam Patreon account. And by becoming a patron, you can get access to all the main channel resources around martial arts, Taoist philosophy, even Chinese music, in group classes, live streams, one-on-one -on -one courses, and a bunch of other stuff as well. So I hope you'll go check that out, and I hope to see you there. Once more, thank you for all your support. We'll see you in the next video.